Hello everybody, welcome back to some Loop Hero. My name is APQ. Now this is going out a day later than it should be. So there's going to be two Loop Hero videos today. This one's going to be at the start of the day before my work day begins. And then the usual scheduled Loop Hero video later on this evening. But we had a pretty good run last time. So we can build whatever we want, right? So I think somebody said we need to keep... Where's our supply depot right now? We need to keep like spaces around this for the warehouse. So we all remember that. We need to keep two spaces clear. There's an intel center, which all the information you find about the world resources or monsters is logged and stored here. Unlocks the encyclopedia, unlocks the desert and sand dunes card, unlocks the ability to add gold cards to the deck. A crypt, unlocks a new class, the necromancer. Yo! Yo! I think we should uh, do this maybe today, because we've got two videos going out today, so it'd be quite fun to play as the necromancer. The mud hut, you can give residents furniture or food to store. That's pretty pog. You can't make a smelt here, which 30 to base HP is not really too good. But it does add golden cards, but we don't have the intel center. So right now, we want to go for the necromancer, really. So we want to save spots around this. So we just put it here, I guess. Yo, it's the spooky guy again. Oh, you're interested too, eh? Not everyone appreci appreciates it. Not everyone understands. People can serve you not only with their voices, but with bones, swords, and bows. And they are not evil if you don't fear them. You're right. I only need to raise a hand and wait. I've never done anything like this before. If. If I remember correctly, the craft teaches itself, often through books or words or walls and stones in your case. It's an unusual way. That's a bit spooky. Can we build anything else? We could build a mud hut, but I don't think we want to build a mud hut right now. I think we want to wait until we can get one of these down. So let's go. Wait, can we... Yo, supply. Yo. Okay, we didn't bring any artifacts back, did we? Because I suck. Somebody said, uh, after we kill the lich, we can use the skull to bring all of our stuff back. So we don't have to go back with like 30% or 60% of the stuff. Can we craft? I don't want to craft anything right now. I'm quite happy to go back into an expedition as... Yo, look at this. Okay, let's just... So as the necromancer, we get two rings. Is that like a, like a necklace? And a book. So enemies have, yeah, okay. So necromancer, summon, summon skeletons that fight instead of their master. Number and power of skeletons depend on necromancer's equipment and skills. Additional class stats, so attack speed evade, regeneration, defense, summon quality, skeletons power. Yo! Starts with warrior's gear. Okay. So because we don't really know what we're going to be killing with this, we're going to go for the same build we've been going with for... Oh, we want spiders. We could take vampire out, actually. I'm trying to think what we could add that's easier than vampires, just to make it like a nice, easier sort of, you know, an easier ride for our first journey. So if we remove vampire mansion, we could do chrono crystal. No. No, let's just go with this build for now. We want, we want to keep spiders on. Swamp annoys me to hell. Don't want to add beacons. Okay, let's try this. Ruins. We're going to remove ruins. Okay, we, we are going to add... We are going to add... We'll add chrono crystals. Yo, I forgot to turn that off. We're still getting follows in the middle of recording. That is not a Twitch follow. I'm going to mute that real quick. How do I mute that? <laughs> Alert box. Mute. Okay. Yeah, it's gone black. I'm back. <laughs> okay, just to stop the alerts coming through on screen. Oh, I need to hide it as well so the visual doesn't come up. Okay, so I remember to turn that back on for next time we stream. So we streamed last night. That's why that's uh, there. But Right. Let's start this run as the Necromancer. I'm actually so hyped. So straight away, we can't put any of this stuff on. So we're just going to let it go. The Necromancer. So we summon... Yo. Dude, look at this skeleton we spawned. Dude, two... Oh, my God. Yo, this is incredible. Okay, we've got our first ring. Two defense. Skeleton level plus 0 0.27. And a grimoire increases skeleton level by 0 0.96. Yo, this is this is heavily pog. I didn't even know this was in the game. No, no one's mentioned it in the comments. This is so cool. Okay, what is this? An amulet? Magic HP 26. So what's magic HP? Is that a HP bonus or is that like our skeleton's HP? I don't know. This is dude, this is so pog. I'm just stop saying pog, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm slowly becoming a Twitch boy. Yo, my magic HP, I guess, is a barrier by the looks of it. Okay, 4% attack speed, sure. Dude, I'm recording this at the very start of my day before work, and the music is just, it's already lit. 
I'm already vibing and it's like not even 9am. <laughs> it's going to be a good day today. Okay, what have we got? Evasion. Skeleton level plus... Okay, no. Magic HP. So this is more magic HP than what we've currently got. So I suppose we'll put it on. And then do we want evasion or do we want attack speed? Is evasion for the skeletons or for us? I feel like we'll put evasion on for the skeletons. We'll see. Yeah, it's for the skeletons. Let's go. Let's go. This is so cool. 0 0.90. Okay, it's worse than what we've got on right now. We are going to put the battlefield down early. We want it to affect as little as as little tiles as possible. So we are just going to put it here. So it only affects these two. We don't want it to turn into ghosts. So we don't want the blades of grass again and all that sort of stuff. Okay, we've got, we got some stuff stacking up. We just need a cool little uh, cool little treasury to help us out, you know? You know how it is. Oh, dude. Not only does the Necromancer icon or graphic look so cool, but the skeletons look like an absolute vibe as well. Yo, I hope this class is good. This is going to be my new favourite class. It looks so fun. Okay, more rocks. So does our magic HP, like, refresh to start with every fight or day or loop? Let's have a look. So do we get a full magic HP? We do. Yo. Okay, so that's like our protection, I guess. So we seem, we do seem to take like the brunt of the hits, the brunt of the damage, but the skeletons are just in the back, just slicing away. And our magic HP is hopefully going to carry us. Is this more magic HP? No, it's one less. That is also less. Let's get some better quality stuff coming in here. I'm sure I've took the wrong cards for this and stuff, but we'll learn. You know, the comments will learn. We've got two videos going out today, so. Yo. 29 magic HP plus evasion plus maximum skeletons plus summon quality. What does summon quality actually do then? Let's see, you know, like <laughs> to, to make them better, you know, more damage, more tanky. Was that their skeleton level? I suppose. Who knows? Okay, still no treasure is. Just do. Can okay, no, that's less? Yo. I like how simple it is as well. Just those small little items. Okay, lots of amulets. They're just all worse than what we've got, so we're not even going to bother. We are begging for a treasury here, or we're going to have to start placing some mountains down. Uh, summon quality, 14%. Honestly, we're going to keep... Oh, wait, that's a ring, so maybe we should put that on. I don't know. It's a problem. Summon quality. Let's put it on instead of evasion. That gives us 26% summon quality. Okay, so... Okay, so 23... Okay, let's just... So he's actually attacking the skeleton instead of us. That's kind of nice. Okay, we've got another battlefield. We want to keep it away for as many tiles as possible. So we want it to just affect like two if we can. So we'll put it here. And try not to put any tiles down there until like the very end. You know how it is. Okay, we need to place some stuff down now. So spiders I'm pretty comfortable with. We can put those down like uh, pretty early. So we'll put some down like here. It's maybe a mistake. We can always get rid of it later. Let's get some mountains down, because, like... Oh, I did just remember something. So the best way to do is, like, mountains in the middle surrounded by rocks. But it's cool. You know, right now we're just... Yo, skeleton warrior. I guess that's the quality. Pog. Look, that is one of the best like, graphics I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, need to put some more rocks down. So what we're going to do as everybody says. And we're going to do the rocks on the side of the mountain. Which is what I did the first time I played. But I soon realized it didn't really matter, because... We should be putting it near the treasuries. Apart from the first mountain that we built. Yo, this slime hits hard. Hello. We just took a lot of damage there. Okay, we're going to save the road lantern for now. Yo, the slimes do be hitting kind of hard, though. Come on, skeletons. Nice. Level 2 ring. Increases our defense. I mean, sure. Level 2, okay, it's evasion. That's a ring. So we will put that on. Get some evasion for the skeletons. Hopefully for me as well, because they are hitting heavy now. Okay, he's targeting the skeleton though. Yo, skeleton warrior comes in and just oh, kills that guy. Oh, I put the mountain in the wrong place. <laughs> oh well. Uh, is there some more spiders down? Like why not? You know. Yo, what the hell? These guys are hitting heavy. Come on, skeletons. Nice. There's three skeletons now. So if we can just like not take a lot of damage. We can just spawn skeletons after skeleton after skeleton. Our big mountain has been formed. We do now have our first village, which we're going to put here. We need meadows to go down. Okay, we got a nice peaceful 
journey to the end. These aren't spawning chests. I guess that doesn't spawn because it's next to the camp. Is that... Maybe that's my fault. <laughs> Bad decision making from me. Oh well. Level 4 ring. Hello. 2 defense. 4% attack speed. 7% evasion. 24% summon quality. Like, yes. <laughs> Let's go. Can we get like summon speed though? That would be kind of like... Would it be a... Oh, it's our mana bar that goes... Because there would be like attack speed that we could do. Yo, 1.54 to the skeleton level. Let's go. Let's put a wheat field down next to our newly formed village. We do have a grove, so we could add to Grove Street. Let's go for it. This is like the most interesting character for me, because the way you can just... Oh, look at the skeleton warrior coming with his claws. I think it's claws. Yo, 2.29 to skeleton level. Uh, get equipped. Wheat fields can go down there. Pretty pog. Okay, we are still desperate for a treasury. We're just going to hold on here for a little bit until we get a full hand. Okay, it's more rocks. We have to place some stuff down here. So I'm thinking down the bottom here. Place a few of these, you know. Don't want to place chrono crystals right by the edge of the border just yet. Right by the edge of the path just yet. You know, come on, skeletons. Hit the spider, man. Get evaded and everything. <gasps> Level 3. 2.31. It's a little bit more. Let's go. Tiny increase. We love to see it. We absolutely love to see it. Level 3. Even more increase. Let's go. Just need a treasury now, please, game. Okay, the spiders took my magic HP away straight away, but it's cool. What is that? Is that a ring? Skeleton level 0.54. You know what? We will go for it. Our skeleton level is now free. You need to have to place some rocks down here. We have just spawned a goblin camp. I think we're going to be okay, honestly. Goblins versus, yo, skeleton warriors, though. I think we're going to be good, honestly. Level 3 ring. Max skeletons plus 1. Let's go. Let me just spawn an absolute army, please. Okay, we got our first quest creature over here. It will be a spider. I don't like how heavy these guys hit. I suppose it's... They don't actually hit that heavy. It's just our magic shield. See, like, this is now 104 magic HP. Which we are going to add, even though it removes, like, max skeletons and stuff. Because now, like, they're not going to break our magic shield, really. At least not on the first hit, like they keep doing at the moment. Okay, nice. Level 4 book. 3.04 skeleton level. We're back above 3 for the skeleton level stat. We love to see it. I just how cool our guy looks. And the skeletons, to be honest. Yo, 2.14 plus 18% evasion. We're not really... Uh, we could go evasion. I'm happy with where we're at. Level 3 skeleton is kind of cool. Look how cool the skeleton warrior. I hope there's like better things than the ske skeleton warrior. I hope they get better and better. Because honestly, it's insane. Okay, we need to pause here. we got a lot of cards coming up. So, uh, Meadows can go across the bottom. Road lantern we're going to put here. No, yeah, we can. We'll put, the, we'll put the vampire mansion there if we get one. Did I take the vampire mansion off? I can't remember. I think we took it off. Spider cocoon can go down. Uh, we'll put it over here in the grove. Come on, treasury. We need a treasury. I want a, like a, a book and an amulet and a ring with some um, cool little features as well. It'd be kind of nice. Yo! New grimoire. 3.41 to skeleton level, plus attack speed, plus regen per sec, plus max skeletons. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, man. I wish we could just get, like, mana regeneration, or whatever that is. Mana. Magic HP. So, it's better than what we've got on right now, so we'll, we'll upgrade it. Uh, put another mountain in. Why not? We can hold on for now. Okay, we need to pause here after this fight. We do have another village. We've got no wheat fields though, but... Okay, this is five defense. I want max skeletons instead. This is less. Okay. 
Village, you want to heal again? So do you want to heal in between the grove? I mean, you could do, right? Just make a bandit camp, which will be bandits and skeletons, which is actually fine. Do we need to put a few more meadows down there? Okay, road lantern. Where do you want a road lantern? We've got one there already. I don't feel like we need one, another one just yet. Not until we get the vampire mansion down. We might even have, I might have taken it off. I really can't remember. <laughs> okay. Still low, lower quality stuff than what we've got. An old frying pan. Let's go. We want to try and leave with that. <laughs> so we either defeat the boss and use the skull. Yo, we get a trade point. We either defeat the boss and get a skull, which means we can leave with all our stuff. Or we can uh, just leave early. This is less max HP. We have wheat fields for our new village, though. We do have a trait upgrade. Horde. Free strength in skeletons will be joining the hero on every loop to help in battle. Okay. After killing an enemy, skeleton fully heals itself. Its damage and HP are increased by 10%. 5% chance for a chest to spawn on top of a killed enemy. Honestly, both of these seem really good. Three strengthened skeletons will be joining the hero on every loop. I'm going to go for this. Hopefully we can get the, the, other, the other trait that we had the choice between uh, next. Because <laughs> that one also sounded good. This is our first time playing this class, so... Um, you know, it's... Uh, it's nice. So do they join us on this loop? Are these the three or do we like... Okay, it's our first vampire mansion, so we're going to turn this this village into one. Then I'm going to put another road lantern up here to help out. But then we're, we're pretty cool for now. This is not better than what we've got, so we're just going to ignore it all. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love to see it. This class is so cool. What a, what a cool idea. Another wheat field. Let's go. So we're coming up to the ransacked village already. We should have actually... We should have turned into a ransacked village after I passed it. Okay, our skeletons are kind of getting destroyed here. And we're not... Oh, no. Yeah, the goblins are absolutely ruining us. And our skeletons. This is not good. Maybe I was too soon to put the ransacked village down. We are taking a lot of damage. Like skeletons. Come on. Step it up, please. Okay, that's a worry. That's a real worry right there. Some more meadows down. Okay, so now it's the ransack village. Okay, we've got two road lanterns, so obviously they don't spawn as many. Come on, skeletons. They are taking so much damage. Come on, skeleton warriors, pretty good. Pretty good. They're really not dealing a lot of damage though. We just we are just spawning a lot of them, I guess, which is the whole purpose here. We got some new stuff. 3.56 free defense. We lose a max skeleton there, so I don't really want to use that. Um, the rest of the stuff is kind of not what we need right now. So we carry on. Another vampire. Of course. The joys of a vampire mansion. Oh, magic HP is gone straight away. What is this? 97 magic HP plus one max skeleton. Let's go. We want like an army of skeletons. Uh, we are. We've got. Okay, we can. We can currently house five skeletons. We love it. Four point sixteen. Yo, ring though. Skeleton level instead of instead of max. Yeah. So we're back down to four max skeletons. But they're better level now. Five point oh three level. We're on loop five. So that makes sense. Evasion. Ooh. I think I want to keep my 24% summon quality right now, though, to be fair. I'll pause after this and place a rock down. We shall continue on. We've got a, um, a quest creature coming up soon. Uh, okay, road lantern. Is, we've already got a road lantern on the goblin place, to be fair, though, so we're just going to hold on to that for now. Uh, some more meadows could go down, I guess. Yeah, have we not got a treasury yet? Like, hello? <laughs> I could do with a treasury, please, game. Got to lose all magic HP. Come on, skeletons. Slice this wolf up. Okay, not as good as what we've got still. I'm more desperate for a treasury than I am anything else right now. Level 5 ring. 1.8 regen per sec plus 0.81 skeleton per level. I mean skeleton level. We'll put it instead of this because I want the regen. 
Even though it is like significantly less skeleton level. So now we're down to level four. But regen could be kind of handy for us. Okay, more... More meadows. Another village, honestly. Let's put it here by the spiders. We heal once there, once there, once there. Maybe one more here if we get another one. We can hold on to the mountains just for now. Okay, this is a mimic. Do we get anything good? We got a level 7 ring. Let's go. So, 4% attack speed. Summon quality, 26%. And skeleton level. We're going to put this on instead of this. Probably should have done that. But now we've got 50% summon quality. Yo. Yo, they f that's the trait we've got. They follow us around. We don't have to summon them in anymore. Yo, that's that's Pog. Yo, that's so cool as well. Look at us on the map. I'm a little horde. And we can summon two more like straight away as well. Oh, man. This is it. Bad boys, bad boys. What are you going to do? What are you going to do when the skeletons come for you? Yo, we just lost a card. Turned into a memory. That's cool. But we don't want to lose Oblivion. So, we should place some stuff down here. Uh, that can go there. Let's put some uh, chrono crystals down. Help with some meadows, you know. We have got another grove, which we'll put down there. So we can't put a village there now. It's kind of my mistake. Yo, yo, these skeletons are absolutely smashing it. Let's get another battlefield down. We don't have too many, but it's cool. It's cool. Do, 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 do. Yo. Oh my god, I love the skeletons that follow us around so much. We've only got two left on our little... So they don't obviously come back every turn, but they do join us at the start of every loop, which is very handy. It means if we get to the boss fight, we'll start the boss fight with uh, some skeletons instead of having to wait. Okay, we've got an absolute quadrant here of uh, battlefields, which is kind of dangerous, because we're going to have to start putting stuff in there soon. <laughs> Still got no treasury, which is really upsetting me. At least we're healing for a little bit more per day now. There's no way I accidentally took treasury outright. You're surely just being unlucky. I'll put that down there. There we go. I'll put a chrono crystal there actually as well. Gets both of those. We love to see it. We did get a level 5 ring, which is just defense, which I'm going to ignore. And that, which is... We lose a max skeleton, though, so I don't want to replace that just yet. Otherwise, it takes our max skeletons down to 3, which isn't really that good. We can hold on for a little bit. That's regen. Okay, it's the goblins again. And we've, we don't start with our free skeletons, so it's kind of a worry. Okay, this is actually, like, not good. <laughs> The goblins attack too fast, I think. It's a good job we don't have beacons on. Yo, they're, they're shredding me. They're going to die here. Yo, use a potion. Please. Okay, we drank a potion. Yeah, this is not good. This is really not good. We are dead. We've been absolutely destroyed by the goblins. Oh, hang on, they're hitting the skeletons. They're hitting the skeletons. Keep going. Yo, pause. We have to leave. We're on 17 HP. Um... We have to leave. This sucks so much. We just lost everything to a goblin camp. Okay, we've got oblivions though, so we can probably make it to the end. We definitely can't make it to the end, can we? We've only got two oblivions. What do we use it on, you know? <laughs> oh, man, this sucks. This really sucks. That we could oblivion the scarecrow. Because if we leave now, we don't take our... Artifacts with me. Okay, we need to think about this real quick. What can we do? Skeleton level. This increases skeleton level by four and evasion. We do lose a max skeleton. This is defense. Like, we've got... Okay, this gives us 147 max HP, which I feel like might be the way to go. I mean, magic HP. Okay, what do we want oblivion? We want oblivion this straight away. That sound was horrible. What else do we want Oblivion to get through this? Rat Wolves might be okay. I think we Oblivion this. And then we Road Lantern, like, what's got a lot of stuff? Both of these got a lot of stuff spawning. Well, Road Lantern, that doesn't really help, does it either? And then we just, I right, honestly, this is complete chaos. 
Oh, I didn't oblivion. Now we're dead. I didn't oblivion the bloody tile that we stood on. Come on, skeletons, go big. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. No. I didn't think of the tile we were stood on. I thought we were past that. Right, so obviously, that did not go the way it went. But this is going to be like 10 minutes shorter than usual because I don't want to start a second loop. Uh, we will do another Necromancer run in the next video, which is coming out today as well. It's coming out in a few hours at its usual scheduled time, which isn't really a scheduled time. It's just it comes out in the evenings for me. I'm not sure about the rest of the world. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the tips and for the love. Thank you for all the love on Twitch last night as well. We did not stream Loop Hero. I'm going to try and keep Loop Hero to YouTube just so nobody misses out on the progress. Um, but we do stream other games. We streamed some Hades last night, which was fun. Um, but yeah, if you want to come hang out, uh, just go follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash APQ Live. Or you can uh, join our Discord and I post going live notifications there. But thank you to everybody for watching. Thank you for all the comments and the subscriptions and stuff. We're almost at 5k. I love you all very much. But until next time, goodbye!